My name is Bob Williams, Surgical Services Director for Memorial Health System. We've understood the historical risk of contamination from duodenoscopes as reported from other facilities and studies showing that there is a risk of cross-contamination due to the reprocessing in between cases. We've always held the process in a high level of scrutiny to make sure that's done correctly every time. And that does come with a cost. But moving towards the single-use duodenoscope, we were able to eliminate that cost and eliminate the risk for that patient with that single-use scope. So a great peace of mind for the patient, a great peace of mind for the provider, and a little bit of weight off of the organizational shoulders on knowing that we took a risk that had been known to the patient, known to the system, and removed it. We trialed the single-use scope for several months, monitoring our outcomes, and one of the things that we did have to monitor and review was how the use of the single-use duodenoscope would be perceived by our payers, both from Medicare and commercial payers. So as we continued to see this new patient chargeable item being added to the bill, we watched that because what we've always ran into with any scope that needed to be reprocessed is there's no way to capture any type of reimbursement towards what is a one-time very large capital investment. But with the single-use duodenoscope, we found that Medicare and many commercial payers found this to be favorable and did provide reimbursement on those patient accounts. And after several months of evaluation, we took that back to the Value Analysis Committee and was fully supported to move towards a full conversion to single-use duodenoscopes.